Memorials for fallen firefighter Scott Deem rising throughout the city from the scene of last night's fire to his station number 35 and downtown at public safety headquarters. The night team's Charles Gonzalez joins us there live where people have stopped by all day to pay their respects. Charles. Yeah, ACs, the memorial here began this morning shortly after Chief Charles Hood spoke at length about last night's loss. Now, in just the short time we were here this evening, we saw many people bring flowers, cards, and write notes, all with heavy hearts and prayers for Scott Deem, his family, and extended family of firefighters. Flowers and signs line the steps into public safety headquarters, small symbols of sadness from the community. We know it's a tough time, but um, we we want to show our support as citizens to these men and women that that make a choice to serve us. It was a decision that he made to, to protect our city, to keep us safe, and, um, and it was a great sacrifice. Public servants from other states and other Bear County departments also paying their respects. Last night's news, painful in the present and past. One of my best friends, uh, Bobby Decker, he was killed in the line of duty December 2013. So when something like this happens, you know, it brings these emotions up. And I just felt it was my duty to come and pay our respects to our, uh, our fellow brother. It's been over 20 years since the San Antonio Fire Department lost a firefighter in the line of duty. Today, a somber reminder of the dangers they face daily. If we can't thank them just on a regular day, a day like today, we really need to pour our hearts out to the department, but especially to his family. When we hear the sirens and they're rushing off somewhere, that you know they're putting their life on the line at that moment. Now we're told because of the chances of rain this weekend, some tents are possibly going to put up in part to protect a large sign that's put on the ground where some people have been right handwriting some messages as well as to protect these flowers, cards, and balloons behind me. Reporting from Public Safety Headquarters, Charles Gonzalez, KSAT 12 News.